everyone. I am 36 weeks pregnant. 36 weeks and four days to be exact. And let's be honest, I am feeling every bit of it. In case you didn't know, or for those who don't know, um, 36 weeks translates into starting your ninth month of pregnancy, which is crazy because the time has flown, but it's also kind of drug by for me in some regards. Um, I've shared a little bit on my Instagram that this pregnancy has been a little tough for your girl. I've been in and out of the labor and delivery triage, which equates to like an emergency room for maternity uh, patients um, quite a bit. And my most recent visit, um, I went up there, was up there for quite some time. And because I've been in and out so much, I knew that I should probably bring something to eat because I will be there for a while. And sure enough, I was. And it was a rough stay. Um, but in short, it was revealed to us that this baby is going to likely come sooner than later. We'll see if that's the case. Um, but it really triggered me to first take the next day to rest, drink water, relax. Um, and then my nesting kicked in like nobody's business. And I just felt this overwhelming need to get prepped and ready for this baby to come. So um, I immediately set out to work. So before I prepared my home for our baby, I wanted to prepare my job for the news that I would be taking leave at this time of year. So I've provided this handy dandy checklist for those of you who work in law firm settings such as myself. So the first thing I did was I informed my job as early as possible that I would be taking leave at this time of year. I was not required to do so, but I found it extremely helpful to get everyone on the same page, my practice group leaders, partners that I worked with locally, um, and in other offices, all of us were on the same page and knew that this time was coming. I then took some time to draft some transition memos, which outlined the matters that I was on and provided any and all helpful information for who I call the transitioning attorney to take over for me. I then met with this person to go over the memo and to answer any questions that they can have so that they are prepared to take over the matter in my absence. You'll want to make sure that you stay in touch with your benefits and leave coordinator. Um, make sure that you're providing documentations not only to the coordinator, but to any state disability insurance programs, such as what we have in California. You want to make sure you cancel parking if you are paying for parking at your job. You'll want to notify your voluntary bar associations if you serve in leadership capacities with them. Finish up your CLEs and make sure your bar dues are paid before the end of the year. Okay, that is finished. So now I'm going to make the padsicles. I think we're going to make about a dozen, so 12 of them, because the last time when I had honor, I made a ton of them and I didn't end up using them as much um, because I ended up preferring um, the tux with the dermaplast that was from the hospital. But when I had Reagan, these were a lifesaver. Don't know how I'm going to feel, so um, I'm just gonna be prepared. I'll make a dozen or so that way I'm not being wasteful but I'm being prepared just in case so first thing we're going to do is buy honestly the biggest pad that you ever can or ever could 
So these are pretty big. Found them at the local grocery store. And what I'm going to do is unwrap them. And this, while it's eco-friendly, I believe, it's not very useful for wrapping these back up. So we'll deal with that later. But unwrap them. Then what you're going to do, lay them out flat. First, I'm going to apply a liberal amount. It came out really easy. I'm going to use my spoon here. Just smooth it all over if I can within the area. Next, you want to take some witch hazel. Make sure that you're using witch hazel that is um, alcohol free. So I just grabbed some of this. It's actually some leftover from Honor when I had her, but it's not expired yet. So we're going to use it. And I'm pouring about a teaspoon of that. So I'm going to measure out a teaspoon, pouring it up and down it. Kind of flipping up so make sure stuff doesn't slide down then i didn't do this with reagan because at the time i hated the smell of lavender but this pregnancy i haven't minded it honor i still i think i still minded the smell of lavender as so i skipped it but i just got some lavender essential oil put just a couple of drops on here literally that's it then you're going to wrap it back here just like so then what you'll do is you'll grab some foil that and you'll wrap it up and boom then we're going to put all of these in the freezer Now that I've gotten all these packed, I have about six here, six more over there. I'm gonna go put these in the freezer. Okay, so let's get into packing this hospital bag, shall we? I'm bringing an old Zara dress to wear to the hospital, a sentimental old white robe that I'm going to wear for after birth. This is what I did with my last two kids and I will do it this time. Tennis balls that go inside a sock to massage my lower back. My Bible, of course. Scripture cards that I'll leave linked below for your use if you want to use them. Bluetooth speaker to play music from. A 10 foot charging cable for my phone. A heating pad for after labor cramps. A couple of nursing bras. A washcloth and towel. Spa headbands. Toiletries. Shower shoes. Slippers. Hair supplies. A laundry bag for dirty clothes. A hospital binder that will keep all the papers and the documents that we'll receive for the baby, my going home outfit. Lastly, we have an empty bag to bring home all the extra goodies that the hospital provides for the baby, such as diapers, wipes, etc. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what I packed for baby number three. So first, um, I'm bringing the boppy pillow. For those of you who have delivered vaginally and had to um, deliver the placenta, <laughs> and it was tough, I identify with you because when I delivered Honor, I remember them having to massage and help push and get the placenta out and as a result I felt like someone had punched me and beat me up so I was very sore so having this pillow to provide the needed support around me so I didn't have to like bend over too much with the baby it was very helpful so highly recommend you grab your boppy pillow or whatever nursing pillow you want I got this blanket from Pottery Barn. It's personalized on this side and I'm not gonna show you guys the baby's name yet, but I have the same thing for Honor. I just got another one made for this baby and the soft, like the Sherpa lining, it's so cute. It is currently 105 degrees right now. Um, so we may or may not need a blanket for the baby, but we may lay it again over like her little legs or something in the car because we will definitely have that AC up if it's still hot. Just as I recycled, the car seat, just as I am using the stroller. I am also reusing the diaper bag that I had last time. This is the Jujube Weekender bag, I think. And I loved it. I 
highly recommend that you clean your diaper bag if you're going to reuse it for your next baby. So I took like a bowl, I put some OxyClean in it and some Dreft and you know swish it around with the water, put a washcloth in it and I just wiped down the interior and um, yeah the interior and the exterior and you wouldn't believe how dirty it was and I vacuumed out all the crumbs and like shook it out too so it's ready to go. I bought this Ubi bag like to go dispenser I guess or travel dispenser. Um, we have the Ubi diaper pail which we'll be using for this baby too so this just has the bags handy dandy for us while we're traveling in case sis has a blowout or other things so we're gonna use that. I put the old changing pad in here as well. It used to be like a memory foam kind of thing but I washed it one time and it's kind of like shapeless. Nonetheless it still works so we're gonna use that. So I also bought a new diaper or um, changing pad. Memory foam as well has its shape. I think I ordered this from Jujubee as well. I just wanted to have a replacement one so it keeps its shape. So just in case my boobs go into hyperdrive immediately like they did with Reagan or they decide to take a little bit of time um, and wait maybe I think it was like three days when I all of a sudden was super gorged and had a bunch of milk. I'm prepared either way. So um, if I go into hyperdrive like I did with Reagan while at the hospital I brought my Hika and then like the small little storage bag as well for the classroom. We're not bag but bottle. Um, just one of the Medela bottles. Put it in. I've already sterilized this, so I'm keeping it in the plastic bag to keep it clean. I've got some breast pads in here as well. These are cloth ones. Again, I have these from Honor. Um, so these have been washed and dressed and ready to go. Here's the disposable ones here. So I don't remember if the hospital provided pacifiers, so I brought these Avid ones, I think these are, um, just in case. So they're in a case they've been sterilized. I've got some nipple shields to help um, the baby in case she needs help with latching. I've got some nipple butter to help out just in case it's that kind of party. Hand sanitizer, a little mini case of Aveeno baby eczema therapy balm. So this is just for like later on. And then I've got like a little cute little binky clip. Definitely have these natural cleaning wipes. They're with baking soda, they're from Munchkin. In case you drop your pacifier, nice way to clean them on the go. Um, I've got some antibacterial hand wipes as well in case the hand sanitizer fails me. And then this is a plant-based uh, breast pump cleaning wipes as well, because sometimes I have to pump on the go. Don't expect to use this in the hospital, but I'm just packing this so I don't have to deal with it later on. I have some birth cloths, these are organic um, I think muslin? No, uh, organic cotton, which I don't know if they're the same thing or not. But in any case, these are organic bird cloths and I love the color. Like, mwah. got a swaddle in here, like a nice little cream one. I've got a going home outfit for the baby. And then I'm not going to show you guys this, but I do have her, um, like her birth announcement photo outfit. Kind of like, oh, hello, Instagram. Hello, Facebook. I have had a baby. Here she is. So yeah, we are ready to go. Today, I figured I would spend the day finishing up my last bit of prep, which means I am going to make some freezer meals. So let's get started.
All of this nesting has left me feeling pretty prepared to welcome our third baby in just a couple of weeks. I've even set aside time to make a breastfeeding basket to help me along. But even as I prepare, I want to make sure that I'm spending time with those that I love, enjoying precious moments with them. And I want to make sure that I'm spending special one-on-one -on -one time with each of my girls too before they become big sisters. Yet in the midst of all this prep work, I want to make sure that I'm taking time for myself and you should too. Don't forget about you, even while you're preparing for a child, whether it's your first, your third like me, always take time for yourself so that you can pour from a full cup. Good luck on your delivery and I'm rooting for you.